Previously, in the Dungeon of the Mad Mage, the party found themselves embroiled in a short battle with an undead beholder, a type of opponent that had once been a cause of fear, but no longer. Strengthened by their experiences, the party easily cut the undead creature down and continued exploring. Past the brewery, they found a strange hall that sloped downward and was filled with pit traps. Thanks to Bone's perceptive nature, the party was easily able to find and avoid the traps. But, at the end of the hall, they found nothing. At this point, the party decided to leave the dungeon and was able to do so without any real difficulty, though they did meet a small party of goblins from Yex Market exploring the first level of the dungeon. Back up top, the party tended to some minor errands before resting. The next day, Uktar the 27th, the party awoke to a chill and frosty morning. They spent the day with personal tasks, working on physical projects or spending time with their various organizations. On the 28th, the party awoke to several inches of snow, blanketing Waterdeep in a winter coat. They headed to pick up potions from Fala and then back to the Yawning Portal for more exploration. Their journey down into the dungeon was relatively uneventful, but as they approached Market Town, they found there had been a minor battle between the goblins and some carrion crawlers. The group stopped off to see the Skull Takers and found that one of their members, Catsup, had been badly beaten by bugbears from Shun Shurith's gang. Bones vowed to take care of the situation, and before the party left, they received warning that the goblins would likely start utilizing patrols and traps to defend their territory. The party headed east to the Spider Eye Watchpost, where they confronted Shun. The cursed drow was unapologetic towards the party, but it did seem as though a peaceable agreement would be reached. Until, that is, Shun refused to back down. One caddy comment too many in a tense situation, and a fight broke out. Initially, the party was successful, going so far as to slay Shun in the initial round of combat. Unfortunately, Shun's death did not break the morale of the Xanathar members, and the retaliating flood of bugbears and thugs proved almost overwhelming. Still, the situation might have been manageable if it weren't for the fact that a small party of bugbears had snuck up behind the party and began to attack them from the rear. This initial attack caused Ezra to lose his concentration on his haste spell, causing Matt and Ashes to become momentarily sluggish and unable to act. In this moment, the life of the party hanging in the balance, the flood of enemies ready to wash over them, Ezra raised his hands and cast a spell, causing a cascade of hypnotic patterns to wash over the majority of the Spider Eyes watchpost. Suddenly, the tide has shifted once more. If Ezra can keep his concentration, the party might be able to emerge victorious. If he cannot... Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. It really helps me out. If you'd like to see me live, head over to my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash the distant horizon.